What are you doing? I am making heads and tails of this Starship Enterprise. That is a sausage grinder, an attachment for a kitchen egg mixer. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's make some sausage. I, I'm, I'm all for it. Fire it up. <laughs> From the birthplace of American Barbecue, Great TV is here. We've got hey, a show that's about a beer in length. Corona. And we're taking it indoors. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's cold outside, and uh, when the cold weather comes around, it's time to go inside. Barbecue guys can't cook outside. And it's super cold. Cheers. Happy holidays. And we're, happy holidays. And we're talking about grinding meat. Mm -hmm. So we should be undercover. Yeah, we should be inside when we grind up the meat. One of the, you know, we're lucky here in the South because we get the great weather, and we'll trade out these days right now because it's getting up into, you know, in the low 60s or high 60s, low 70s during the day for us. So we trade these days out for those scorching days of summer when we just are sweating like crazy outside. And we don't have much room to complain either. It's... We really, we really don't, shouldn't complain. But you know, most of the country is blanketed in ice and snow right now, so the barbecue experts have got to have something to do besides barbecuing because you know there's snow on the on the cookers out there so there's a couple things you can do with cold right yeah so with you know the 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 we did this, the cheese because we wanted to take advantage of the weather and we can come inside and we can grind up sausage of course we're going to have pork butts around anyway pork butts make great barbecue but pork butts also make great sausage really yeah is that like one of why is that better than say the ham portion because the fat content in the shoulder portion makes for a better fat content for the sausages as a matter of fact if you want to, if you could get a little bit of extra fat, maybe when you got a full Boston butt, a whole Boston butt's about eight or nine pounds. If you get a pound of fat from your butcher, uh, you know, when they're trimming up the pork chops and stuff like that, if they'll sell it to you or if they'll give it to you, I would even add that into what we're doing as far as sausages go, because a lot of what happens with sausage and the moisture is all about the fat. Well, when it comes, what about beef? I know beef we're is, doing pork, but I mean, could you beef do is, beef brisket is the same sausage? Way. Yes, you could, but, and there's a lot of good fat on a brisket to be able to mix up with that. In fact, a brisket makes about an 80-20 mix, but the, the, same, the same cut on a, on a cow is the chuck. So when you're, if you're going to grind beef sausage, you're going to make sausage out of beef, use chuck because there's good fat in it. Okay. So the well, first thing we need to do is figure out how to put our grinders together. Most grinders are the same. This was a new thing. So yeah. we're talking, this is KitchenAid. Probably a lot of people have this. Yes. Um, Bill's lucky to have the KitchenAid mixer. I have, I'm lucky to have a grinder that I use um, straight up. Either way is fine. There's a lot of horsepower in here. When you're talking about a grinder, you want to get one that has good quality parts and has some horsepower to be able to grind. So. Um, the first thing you need to do is put your worm gear in. You've got that fixed in there. Get it all the way in there. That's, what that's the called worm gear? That's called a worm gear. <laughs> right. And then I'm going to just go ahead and put my my uh, stand on here. But after you put your worm gear, you need, you need a knife next. Your knife is a little star-shaped thing. Next. It should be down in the... In the and that goes out with the square piece. And my knife is going to put my worm in here. And then my knife. And then to start with, you always use the coarse blade, and the coarse blade's gonna be the one with the bigger holes in it. I have one that has triangles, you have one that has holes. No big deal, line it up with the notches, and then put your collar on. You've got a nice little uh, wrench that uh, KitchenAid gave you. You wanna make, make sure that's on there good and tight, though. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. All the rules. So it's all about uh, safety and sanitation. Sanitation's big in sausage. This is brand new and... There you go, that's good. But it is all... Dishwasher mm -hmm. safe. Okay. And that goes in there straight on in. You may have to take your little, take this piece out a little bit. Unscrew it. There you go. Straight on in there until it right. seats right in. Watch your beer on the end of the table. Make sure you don't uh, spill all over the place. There you go. Crank it in good and tight. Beer. Keep it right here safe. Yeah, that's right. All right. All right. We're the grinders are set up and ready to grind on the KitchenAid mixer. They, it's a combination grinder uh, pusher, so that actually goes in there. This grinder has a piece that goes along with it. This is a stuffer, and we'll use this a little bit later okay. on, and I have one over here. And so here's the more fine... Right, that's the, okay. the more fine blade. All right, or so we got to cut some meat, and you said cube it? Cube it. We're going to make it, we're going we're gonna to take it down into one-inch cubes. Let's get our pork butt out of the, out of the refrigerator. We want to make sure we keep it good and cold. We want to make sure we keep all of our equipment sanitary because we're grinding. So this is a pork butt, and it's a boneless piece. 
And all I'm going to do is take this and cut it up nicely, easily. I don't know how much sharp those knives are. And this is, this, is, this is actually the way that the butchers make pork steak. They'll take a Boston butt and they'll cut it up like this. Sometimes they'll take these and cut them this way or cut them once this way. They'll make country fried or country chops. And sometimes you'll see those uh, um, country style pork chops in the, in the um, case. When you're going in, a lot of times that's all about. Basically, we're just cubing. Yeah, we're just going to take it and cut it up nice. Get it into small chunks because the hole up here is small, right? So we want to make yeah. sure that we're able to get the, the meat in down in that hole. So yeah, you're wanting yep. about that. About an inch is what we're going to do. It's well done. So uh, what do you know about sausage, Bill? You've been doing some research lately on sausage? I know nothing about sausage, but you know, when you're looking for flavors of sausage, I mean, you just... Is it salt and pepper and, I mean, could it be anything? Italian sausage, you going to be spicy? Yeah, there's, there's all kinds of different recipes for sausage, and certainly you can go on the Internet and get a, a ton of recipes, a good book. Sausage is actually a, a form of charcuterie. Charcuterie is a French word. And back in the days, in the early days, um, the, they were selling, they, were, they wanted to find a way to take the raw meat processors and the cooked meat processors and separate them. So back in early France, they, the people who were doing cured meats, and you can do cured meat sausages, can be cured or fresh. And in, in shows in the past when we did the ham show, especially, we talked about green ham and cured ham. Mm -hmm. And so a cured sausage is probably pretty much the same um, type of analogy, if you want to call it that. Cured sausage, and that's the stuff you get at Hillshire Farms that's in the smoke round links, has been cured and then it's been smoked. Fresh sausage is more like what you see in the case that uh, somebody like Johnsonville would sell you. Mm -hmm. um, that's the bratwurst and so on and so forth. You have to be careful, you know, a hot dog is a sausage, but you have to be careful in the world today that, you know, if you're out there in some foreign country and you order a hot dog sausage, that you don't get a dog in your sausage. <laughs> <laughs> or worse, right? Or worse. Now it is worse. One never knows when it comes to sausage. What about, like, I've seen sausage with herbs or green, you know, something sort of green leaf in there, is yeah. that, uh, you know, what do you have to watch out for with that? The cool thing about sausage is you can spice it any way you want. Everybody looks for a recipe for sausage, and I've taken, I've actually taken Canadian steak seasoning and put it into ground pork and made, and stuffed it into a stuffing and made a great um, uh, sausage out of that. You can use any kind of herbs or spices that you want to use. The green stuff is probably tarragon or parsley or something along those lines. This is going to be totally uncured Yes, this is going to be sausage. fresh sausage. If we were going to use a cure, we'd have to use the curing salts like the nitrates and so on and so forth. And that's when you get into prog powder number one and a lot of those other things. And but that's a cured sausage or curing is probably a show that we're going to do on down the line. Remember we talked about doing some cured stuff. And adding that step is just, is, is it adding it to the grind? Yes. You had it straight and through. then age or you yeah, know it cures and it, it, it sits in a it puts it in the cooler a lot of cured sausages all cured sausages smoked but not all smoked not all fresh sausages cured and not all fresh sausages smoked but fresh sausage has to be kept refrigerated yes make sure you keep it as good and cold as you can all the time it's just it's, it's just ground up pork is all it is and speaking of that we're going to take this and you're going to take it and you actually want to chill it off Freeze it? Yeah, you want to get it down as close to frozen as you can get it because it just goes through the grinder a little bit easier when it's a, when it's real good and cold. All these uh, um, meat fibers in here, the, the way the strands run, will get all kind of gummed up in, in the grinder. And if you keep it, if you got the um, pork good and cold, almost frozen, it grinds better. So, can I drop some? Nope. So we'll take this, pop it in the freezer for how long? Hour? I would bet probably about an hour is a, is a good rule of thumb, just until it starts to get good and frosty. You don't want it frozen because you don't want to, you know, overdo the horsepower in your grinder. But uh, let's just go ahead and get it together. That's about an inch cube. As you can see, they're in pretty good shape right there. We'll throw it in the bowl. It didn't get quite done. We'll give it a little chop. And then we'll put the bowl in the freezer. You could also go ahead and drop it in a bag if you wanted to. Put the bag in the freezer, that's also a good technique. I've done that many, many times. So, we got the good cubes, everything's looking great. We'll go ahead and get that as cold as we can, and then we'll go ahead and put it through the grinder. 
So uh, what do you want to do for now? It's true beer. Beers. Good idea. How did my beer change color? What, what happened to your beer? We've been letting this freeze and also looking at some great plates. Look at the, who is this? This is John D. Dross Jr. D. Ross Jr. from Connecticut. And he sent us a, a Twitter pic of hog balls. Let's check those out. Nice job, Good John. Good job, and I love, John. He tagged it. Hashtag great plate. So that's going all over the Twitterverse. That's right. Send in your great plates. It's really easy to do. You can add the hashtag or just click the submit great plates link at greattv.com. Excellent. All right, we've let the uh, pork sit in the freezer for about an hour. And now it's time to go ahead and start the grinder ups. So I'll tell you what, I'll grind half in this one, you grind half in that one. You use your little pusher here. Which one of the Oh, gloves. Yeah, my gloves. Use this pusher here to go ahead and get it put through. I don't know how loud these are going to be on, uh, on camera, but we'll find out in just a minute. And that's one of the big things is cleanliness, right? Cleanliness is next to godliness, that's for sure. So now what do you do with it? Now we got to season it. Okay. So we have bratwurst, which is what, we, is what, is what we've made. Um, and after we season it, we're going to have to test it. So I appreciate you turning on the stove over there. Um, simple seasonings. Go find yourself a recipe. There's plenty of them out there. Google bratwurst recipe. This one uh, I found because um, usually bratwurst has veal in it. But I don't like, I don't, veal is, man, I went to the store to check out a pound of veal. $10.99 a pound for veal. Seemed kind of a interesting situation to put ten ninety nine a pound of veal in with a dollar twenty nine Boston butt. So I just I found a recipe that used all pork. So these are all pork bratwurst, kosher salt, sugar, dried mustard, sage, mustard seed, mustard seed, mustard, mustard seed. very German. Yep, a coarse ground black pepper. Nutmeg, which is what makes, in my opinion, makes a bratwurst bratwurst. And then um, we're going to make these garlic brats. So I put in some minced garlic. Ooh, and I'll tell you what, one thing that's a little trick that uh, I wasn't kind of prepared to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to reach in here and get some milk. I think we got milk? Milk. Right in the box in the corner. I see it. And if you're missing this recipe, it's uh, at greattv.com. Use the keyword sausage and you put about a quarter cup of milk in there okay all right i'm going to take a little bit out of here just make our little patty just like this all my fingers and the gloves are still there so we're okay and if we can get a camera shot over here here listen to that so what we're doing is we've got the seasoning in here Let's test it before we make 20 sausages. That's right. And decide we, we don't like the mix. So we don't like the mix. So it's just a smart way to be. And this is just to kind of test and just see. All we're doing is testing the seasonings to make sure the seasonings are good. This is a bratwurst recipe. Bratwurst recipe. It's a bratwurst patty. Mm. Looks great to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's dynamite. Mm hmm I say we go ahead and grind it and stuff it. What do you think? That's it. Go get Let's it. Do it. Once you get it on there, of course, you got to make sure that uh, you know nothing's going to come out the end. So just basically, you know, just tie it on. Out, tie it on. And then you kind of take the end of your knife. So there's air in there. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll use this fork right here. You just kind of put a hole right there because you want to let the air kind of drain out, right? Get out of there. We're not going to worry about the hole doing it. Won't worry. So you don't want to be totally okay. airtight. Turn it on. It'll be airtight, but it's, we want the air that's in the, in the horn to come through. Go ahead. Fire it up.
And you just kind of fill it up to the size and length that you want, just kind of let it cruise on through. And it'll come out of there, it takes it a minute. You gotta kind of let the grinder work in its own pace. You don't really want you don't want to overload the horsepower of this, and you don't want to push down this too hard. It's gonna lever work in here. You don't want to break this. So you just kind of gotta let it do its thing. All right. So that's about what we want. I think. And all we do is, sometimes I'll put a, a measure down on here, but I don't think we really need to do that in the And that is a hang of sausage. So you got that, then you take it to the grill, like we did earlier, and you have this. Doesn't that look fantastic? So let's sample our wares. I think we should. You want mustard? It's bratwurst. Absolutely. I'm ready. Sauerkraut, I'm ready. whatever else. Sauerkraut, mustard. Fresh ground sausage. I'm not going to bump sausages with you. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Something's not right. About Look, buy local, think global, stay sustainable on every chance you get. Make sausage and hug your mama. Perfect. Okay.